STOA is a science and technology options assessment parliamentary body established in 1987. Its secretariat is part of the new European Parliament Research Services Directorate General. STOA provides members and committees of the European Parliament with independent, science-based evidence for policymaking. It carries out projects to assess the impact of new technologies and the best policy options from a scientific and technological perspective. For these projects, STOA often seeks advice from external, independent experts. STOA is a founding and active member of a network of bodies throughout Europe that provide their parliaments with independent technology assessment and scientific advice. STOA aims to bridge the gap between policy and science. The STOA panel is a body of 15 MEPs who are politically responsible for the work of STOA. At their regular meetings in Strasbourg, members discuss ongoing and future projects and workshops, outcomes of studies, and topics that may be of interest for STOA presented by organizations like the European Commission, science and research institutes, and other stakeholders. The STOA Bureau oversees STOA's activities and prepares the panel meetings. The members are from left to right. Antonio Correa de Campos, STOA Panel Chair. Malcolm Harbour, STOA Panel Vice Chair. Uldrich Vlasak, the Parliament Vice President responsible for STOA, and Paul Rubig, STOA Panel Vice Chair. During the seventh legislature from 2009 to 2014, STOA produced 24 projects across five domains. Each project has one or more leads from the STOA panel. The lead panel members follow the execution of their projects and act as STOA ambassadors for their committees. The output of these projects are studies and workshops. A full study is about 100 pages. A four-page options brief evaluates policy options. 20-page layman's summaries are concise versions for non-specialists. All reports are available for MEPs and the public to download from our website. Workshops held while projects are ongoing allow the discussion and possible amendment of interim findings in view of the presentation of final results later. STOA also organizes ad hoc workshops for science and technology subjects that emerge as politically relevant, usually in the five domains for STOA's work. The interim and final outcomes of projects are routinely presented to committees during their regular meetings, notably plant breeding and innovative agriculture, cutting food waste, and sustainable management of natural resources. In November 2013, STOA hosted a workshop to facilitate the dialogue between MEPs and the authors of the IPCC report on the physical basis for climate change. These studies and workshops aim to keep MEPs and the committees up to date on the latest science and technology issues to allow science-based evidence to underpin policymaking. STOA also holds a prestigious annual lecture allowing scientists and experts at the top of their fields to address MEPs and the public. From the inventor of the World Wide Web in 2009 to present and future Nobel Prize winners in 2010, 2011 and 2012. Further links are pursued between scientists and MEPs through visits to scientific institutes and science and technology forums alongside a scheme pairing MEPs with individual scientists. This scheme enables the development of mutual understanding and lasting relationships. As a follow-up to their pairing, Yanis Sokalas, MEP, and Professor Angelo Kangelosi of the University of Plymouth, UK, hosted a robotics demonstration. All of this is how STOA connects MEPs with high-profile scientists and experts allowing a scientific evidence base to underpin policymaking. STOA is now looking forward to continuing to serve MEPs during the eighth parliamentary term. <laughs>